Hello and welcome to Hacksploit. On today's session we're going to take a look at the Aircrack NG Wireless Penetration Testing Suite. Uh, Aircrack NG is basically a set of tools that you can use to try and crack the WPA or WEP key of your wireless router. Um, today we're going to look at WPA, WPA2 in fact. Um, so to begin with we need to open up Terminal. The first thing to check is that your wireless uh, access card is available or wireless network card even is available so just type in airmon-ng this will now show you your interfaces uh, for your wireless network so obviously for myself it's WLAN0 so now we've got that the next thing we need to do is type in airmon-ng again but this time we're going to type start WLAN0 basically what this is going to do is this going to bring up our wireless access uh, card but with a monitoring mode and that's what we need to use so in this example we have a monitoring mode of mon0 uh, if you're doing this at home obviously you'll probably come back with possibly a different one it might be mon1, mon2 etc etc um, just basically anytime I say mon0 just substitute it with whatever your monitoring interface card is okay so now we know what our monitoring interface is we need to bring up aerodump so what this is going to do is basically scan the available Wi-Fi traffic uh, and hopefully record it for us so we just need aerodump ng mon0 space mon0 even so that's now just going to do a quick scan so we'll just leave that to run a few seconds what this is doing is basically scanning every uh, channel and trying to pick up as many wireless access points that it can see within the area obviously the more powerful your antenna on your wireless uh, card uh, the better it is and um, so as you can see we've got quite a few here so we've got the one that we need so I'm just going to stop this for now so the wireless access point that we're going to target today is this one right here which is a uh, Hacksploit Wi-Fi uh, obviously when you're doing this make sure that you're only doing it against an authorized network and um, so if you your own or somebody who said it's okay for you to attempt this on their network don't be attempting to obviously break into somebody else's network as that's obviously illegal okay so the first things we need to uh, sort of remember and, and get hold of is the BSSID and the channel in which the uh, wireless network is running on okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to run aerodump again but this time we're just going to focus on the channel that we want to so we're going to put aerodump dash ng um, we're going to specify which channel we want so we want in channel 5 um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the BSSID and um, so dash dash BSSID you can just do dash B as well um, and then we're just going to copy this little bit of information here this is the uh, wireless access points uh, MAC address basically so copy that uh, paste that in there okay we need to decide where we're going to write this information to so uh, we're going to basically specify the file which is going to capture all this information so I'm just going to call it hack Wi-Fi and then our monitoring interface which is mon0 and just press return okay so that's now running in the background and basically what that's going to do is just going to monitor all the traffic on this network so on Hatsploit Wi-Fi okay so the next thing that we need to do we need to capture the WPA handshake and the way we're going to do that is we're going to force this client to re-authenticate with the router so how do we go about doing that okay so what we need to do is we need to open up a new tab um, like this and we're going to run another attack against the client this time um, and it comes part of the uh, aircrack ng suite and we're going to use a tool airplay so we need to type in airplay dash ng it's basically a deauth attack so we're going to type in dash dash deauth how many DOF attempts do we want to send? Um, I'm going to send 10. So it's going to send 10 authentication requests. Um, then we're going to do a, a dash A and we're going to specify our access point. So that's our BSSID again. So we're just going to copy this. And pop that over there. The next thing we need to do is we need to now choose the clients that we're attack attacking. So we do a dash C. For the client and it's going to be this one here so we need to copy the stations MAC address so this is basically their wireless cards uh, MAC address 
copy that, just pop that there. And then we need to choose our monitoring interface, Mon0. So just before we run that, what we're expecting to see at the top here is WPA Handshake. Um, at the moment we don't have one, hopefully once we've run this, a few seconds after running it, it should appear. So let's set that off now, and that's now sending loads of the authentication uh, attacks out, and hopefully, that, there we go, we have now got a WPA handshake. Uh, and that's what we need, because what we're going to do now is we're going to attempt to crack uh, that WPA handshake and pull out of it the uh, wireless key, basically, the password or passcode. Um, so we can get rid of this now. We've now got all the information we need, so we can just control C to stop that. At this point now, you could actually go away and run this onto another system if you wanted to do the air cracking bit. Um, you don't need to be near the router anymore, you don't need to be on the network anymore, etc. Um, so I'm just going to clear this screen right here. Okay. So let's have a quick look at what files that's just created. So it's created a few different little files here for us. Uh, the one we're interested in is this one here, hack wifi and um, That's the one that contains the uh, WPA handshake in it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attempt to crack it with a piece of software called aircrack-ng. Uh, we're going to use a dictionary attack for this. Uh, what a dictionary attack is, is basically it's a text file with loads and loads of different words. I mean, it's, the one that I'm going to use is actually a Windows 7, one to use against a Windows 7 system. Um, but you could create your own one, or you can download them online specifically for wireless uh, access points. Um, so to begin with, we're going to type aircrack-ng, and then we're going to specify that dictionary file that we want in. So mine is actually on my desktop. So and it's just called dict.txt. Okay. The next thing we're going to specify is the uh, BSSID that we're going against. Uh, which isn't that one. Oh, do you know what? I've cancelled it off as well. Two seconds, let me just find the uh, the BSSID again. Note to self, always put this down in a separate text file. You don't actually have to specify this here. If you was to run it, it would actually ask you which um, network you want to try and crack, depending on what, what networks is actually captured in the file. But I always find it's a lot easier if you just actually put in the network you want to attack. Okay, so we've got our BSSID in there now. And we don't need this no long. Oh, no, I went and copied the wrong one. If anything could go wrong in this video, it is going wrong. So let's copy the correct one. If we copy the wrong one, it isn't going to work, obviously. Get rid of that. Okay, so that's the right one. Uh, and then at the end, we just need to put in that cat file. So H A K Y Y Y dash zero one dot cap. And hopefully that should be all right. Yep, that looks right to me. So I'll just press return. And that's now going to start running through the keys, and hopefully in a second it should pull back my wireless access point key. And there we go. So it's found the key for us. So the key is Hexploit 12345. Obviously, this this router is just a test one I've made up. I would hope if you if it's your home router, yours is a little bit more secure than this. Um, but yep, what it's found from that handshake, uh, basically, it's found the key from us by trying to break the hash of it. And uh, just to let you know, wireless access point keys are encrypted, uh, usually with AES encryption, uh, and they're also salted. And um, to give you an example of this, if you were to try and break, for example, say a Windows password, you could create a what's called a rainbow table which would have all the hashes pre-computed and then basically any Windows 7 machine you went to you could use that same rainbow table to attack the, uh, the user accounts. With wireless it's slightly different especially with WPA and um, what it actually does it creates that hash value 
but it also salts the hash with the wireless network. So if you were to have a rainbow table created for, I don't know, Sky1234, that same rainbow table would not work on another wireless network. What you can do is you can create the computed hash um, of, all, of all your um, passwords, and then you can resalt it for each wireless network that you want it to go against. Okay, so that's the video for today, explaining how to use Aircrack. If you've got any questions or any comments or there's anything you didn't understand, please feel free to comment below uh, and I'll try and help you out as much as I can. Uh, obviously, as I've explained through the video, this is for training reasons only. Uh, don't be trying to hack into somebody else's wireless uh, network point. Uh, obviously, just do it on your own or with permission from whoever owns the access point. Thank you for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe to us and we'll be coming up with a new video very soon. Thank you very much.